You schedule it. Shit, we need to go then. What's the difference? Um, I don't Hello. know. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hi, guys. Um, welcome. How are you? I'm very well. Good. Good. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah. It's Good Friday, time. Emily. Yes. I suppose technically it's Friday. Um, what do you mean, technically it's Friday? <laughs> Days of the week and weekends seem to have all combined in my mind into just one big block of time. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. It is um, Friday. It is Friday. That's true. Um, I like Friday, Emily. Good. Why? Despite what you say. Um, because it's almost the weekend. And uh, at the weekend, I am doing nothing. <laughs> the same like every day. Well, that's my point. <laughs> Sit inside, watch Netflix. Yeah. Other streaming services are available. Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, tell us your name and where you live, please, um, if you're watching. What's your name? Where do you live? Yeah. Hi, Valeria. Ooh, I like the yellow. I like the yellow. <laughs> I've got to say, Emily, I like the yellow. Cool. Valeria is a jaguar, which is incredible to be typing. Or is she a leopard? Or maybe a leopard. What's the difference? I don't know what the difference is. Jaguars are fast. No, cheetahs are fast. Cheetahs are the fastest. Animal. Animal, yeah. Um, how are you, Valeria? From Rimini. All good? Um, I... Seeing as we're talking about a night at the cinema and films, uh -huh. I subscribed to Disney Plus yesterday. Disney Plus? Yeah. But I don't think I'm going to keep it. Oh, well, why? It Because, well, I suppose that it's stating the obvious, but it is just Disney. Oh. <laughs> my... <laughs> you my expected something else? <laughs> well, my stepbrother was telling me that actually there is a, there are a lot of interesting things, um, but it's not it's not that interesting. I'm gonna okay. have, a, have it free for a week. Okay. So I'm gonna Fine. watch lots of Simpsons and cartoons, and then I'm going to stop. I think. I watched Toy Story four. Yeah. And it's great. I thought. Good. Really good. Yeah. Well, I, what I wish I had done is I wish I had saved my free week of Disney Plus for when Toy Story 4 was available because it's not available now. Oh. And also the last Star Wars is not available now, which are the only ones that I haven't seen and that I want to see. Oh. So that was a okay. mistake. That's annoying. Um, Valerio, I, Valeria, sorry, I'm fine. Thank you. Emily, are I'm you fine? fine. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Fine. Both fine. Um, yeah, so today we're talking about uh, the cinema. Me. Mm. Uh, do you like the cinema? I don't like the cinema, Rob. I love the cinema. Um, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, how often do you go to the cinema? I go to the cinema. Well, in London, I go to the cinema 
probably once every two weeks or twice a month. Okay. Are you in London now? No, I'm not in London now. I'm in Rome. And in Rome, I go to the cinema less often, unfortunately. Uh, do you go to the cinema now, Emily? I, I go sometimes. I think now I probably go to the cinema once a month instead of twice a month, which actually, now I'm saying it, isn't that much of a difference. <laughs> Uh, twice a month. Twice a month. Good. I think twice a month is the perfect amount. Yeah, I agree. Because more, it's very expensive, and less, it's. There's not enough. It's not enough. Just not enough cinema. Not enough cinema to go round. Um, How often do you go, Rob? Oh, uh, once a month, maybe, maybe. Maybe once every two months. Yeah. It depends if there's good films. Yeah. When you're in the UK, do you go more often? Um, no. All right. <laughs> uh, I used to, in the past, I went all the time. Yeah. Maybe twice a week, three times a week. Uh, because I had a card yeah. and it gave me a free cinema. Well, yeah. not free, but cheap cinema. Yeah. Okay. So, talking about cinema, uh, the movie theater, buying tickets, and food and drink. You have to buy uh, popcorn. No, you do not have to Lots popcorn. of popcorn. And you just crunch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also... Um, so, we have some uh, different movie genres. A genre, Emily? What is a genre? A genre is a type or a category of film, uh, okay. like in all the examples we have here. Okay, nice. So genre is a type. Um, so can we match the uh, pictures to the genre? I hope we can. Hi, Antonella. Oh, hello. hello, Antonella from Bologna. Bologna. Very nice. Um, so let's match the types. So what do you think uh, picture A is? What uh, type of film or what genre? Yeah. Oh, Rafaela. I've met Raphael before. Oh, good. Yeah. Good stuff. Nice one. Perfect Raffaella. De Pasquale. And Valeria, too. And Valeria. Yeah, it's a cartoon. I like cartoons. I do, too. Um, well, what about B? Mm. Mm. This can be confusing, although Rafaela, I think, has got the right answer. Sometimes yeah. it's could be more than one, but I think that's great for for B. Yeah. Um, I think this is a new genre. I think this is a superhero movie. Mm. But uh, yeah, I suppose it's action as well. Uh, action, action, action. What about C? <laughs> so, uh, what do we think? Yeah. Hey, Alice. Alice. 
Antonella. <laughs> it's Antonella. Oh, is it Antonella? Yeah, yeah. Um, Company, yeah. Because she told us. Yeah. Oh, Antonella. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Emily. I know. Oh, it's Friday evening. <laughs> D, what is D? D, no. I think D's in Rome. No. Really? Or in Italy. I think D's in Italy. Oh. Uh, perfect, guys. Yeah, romance um, or a romantic movie. <laughs> uh, thanks, uh, Alicia. But Emily always forgets names. She, oh, sorry. She needs to learn. I don't always forget names. <laughs> it's Antonella. But I do sometimes. <laughs> Um, Hi, Stefano. Stefano, hello. Stefano from Parma. As in Parma ham. <laughs> um, e, what do we think about E? Uh, Raffaella, you are very fast. Yeah. Science. Fiction. Emily. Yeah. Do you say science fiction? Or do you say sci-fi? I say both. Probably I say sci-fi more often. Okay. Yeah, I always say sci-fi. Yeah. Science fiction. And I'm very careful about my pronunciation when I say it. So it's oh, yeah. not science fiction or sci-fi. Okay. But never yeah. science Ooh. That's science. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, F horror, beautiful. Thank you, Raffaele. Very fast. Uh, what about G? Me too, Stefano. Me too. You're in the right place, Stefano. Yeah, this is the perfect lesson for you. Documentary. Woohoo! Well, earlier. And uh, the last one. <laughs> mm. H. It's a tricky one. Yeah. Sad? Is it a sad movie? It looks like it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with them. Thank you. Drama, um, drama, drama. Um, so, uh, well, what's your favorite genre? Tell us your favorite genre. Oh, that is such a difficult question. Uh, Emily, uh, do you have a favorite genre? No, I, I don't. I don't have a favorite genre. I like, I think um, maybe my favorite films are films which have more than one genre. So the best films aren't just one category, but they could be two or three categories. Okay. Um, what do you yeah. think? No, I agree. Maybe a film with one or two or three categories, three genres. I do like, I like sci-fi. I like science fiction. Yeah. Yeah, I love science fiction. But I especially love science fiction when it has an element of drama as well. So not just crazy technology, but also people's lives and people's experiences. Blade Runner. You're talking about Blade Runner, Emily. Yeah. Actually, I was thinking of... Um, Arrival. Oh, no, Arrival. I was thinking of Arrival, yeah. Yeah, I like Which Arrival. Which is an amazing film. Uh, Raphael's favorite genre is drama. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Raphael, do you have a favorite drama film? Mm. Mm -hmm. And um, Valerian? Yeah. 
romance and cartoons. Ah. What about a cartoon romance? Mm. Mm. Um, do you have a favorite uh, romantic film, Valeria? Stefano has given us a new genre, hmm. adventure films. Okay. Yeah. What would be an example of a great adventure film, Stefano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think favorite? maybe that's a... I have not seen many films that I would call adventure films. Oh, Emily. I mean, Indiana Jones. But um, otherwise, journey to the center of the earth. Not seen it. The core. The witch. The core. The core. Is that another film, it's or a, is that? It's a, that's what the center of the earth. No, no, it's a. It's a, <laughs> it's a sci-fi adventure. Huh. Star Wars. Oh yeah, I've seen Star Wars. Yeah, um, I guess that's the adventure film, yeah. Alice, uh, cartoons. It's Alessandra. Sorry, it's Antonella. Antonella! <laughs> sorry, sorry, Antonella. Antonella. Um, okay, cartoons. Yeah, do you have a favorite cartoon, um, Antonella? Frozen! Frozen. Um, yeah. Me too, Stefano. Ah, Valeria says Amelie. Romance, yeah, favorite romance film. Okay, yeah. Um, Amelie is fantastic. Agree or disagree, Emily? I actually disagree. But I wasn't going to say so until you asked. But you hate French people, so maybe. No. I do not hate French, French people. And I like a lot of French films. Okay. But I haven't seen Emily for a long time, so maybe I should watch it again. Because I remember that I didn't like it, but I don't really remember why. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I guess. <laughs> Uh, 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 Alice is too. So, this so, is a cartoon. So, now we know why Antonella has this name. But what is Capellaio in English? I don't know. I no, don't I'm, know. Asking, I'm asking Antonella. <laughs> I know you don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's the Mad Hatter because Capello is hat. So it okay. could be the Hatter. And the Hatter. Um, Valeria, the one with the llama, and I know the one she's oh, talking about. Oh, I know! El Dorado. Uh, is that what it's called? Oh, the Empire's New Groove. The Emperor's New Groove, yeah. Sorry, I'm getting very overexcited. The Emperor's New Groove. I just spell Emperor. E M P. E-R-O-R. Yeah. -R. <laughs> yeah. Emperor's. New. No, no, no. New, new, new. And for Elicia, yes, it's the, the name of this character in English is the Mad Hatter. So a hatter is a person who makes a hat, and that character is mad. I love the Emperor's New Groove. Me too. Yeah. Pull the lever, Kronk! <laughs> Wrong lever! Okay, I don't know quotes, but I'm glad that's you That's the only quote I know, but that was a good <laughs> moment. Um, so Stefano, we missed as he likes Indiana Jones and uh, 007. Yeah. Um, yep. I like both of those. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. 
And we are, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward, which I will write out, which means I'm excited about the new James Bond film. The new James Bond? Yeah. With a um, woman. Uh, they still got, um, so 007 is now a woman. They still have Daniel Craig as James Bond. So James Bond is not a woman, but the 007, 007 agent is a woman. Okay, 007. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. Um, what's it called? I don't know. You Only Die Once. Oh, did you just look it up or did you know that already? No, I knew it. No. Are you looking forward to any new films? Well, um, looking forward to new films. Now? No, I don't really know any new films. I don't know. Are you not looking forward to the new James Bond film? Oh, I'm looking forward to the new James Bond film. Definitely. Mm. Um, but I can't think of any more films. Uh, me neither. We can ask the students, are you looking forward to any new films? So is there a film in the future that you really want to see? Hmm, good question. So we can practice that looking forward to. Um, Christopher Nolan has a new film out and I'm quite looking forward to that. Mm. I think it's called Tenant. 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 Ah. Um. Well, I always look forward to a new Christopher Nolan film. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Mm. Well, hopefully the students are writing us some answers to that question. We could go forward in the meantime. Okay, so we also have some movies and you can tell us what genre you think it is. <laughs> I like what Valeria has written. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's true. <laughs> um, just a little note for Valeria. You've you've done really well to use met in the past tense when I met Netflix. So we need to also put the verb change in the past tense. And this one is regular. So when I met Netflix, my life changed. So I don't look forward to new movies now. So also for your for the second half of your sentence, um, we would probably use the present simple. So not I don't looking forward, but I don't look forward. Okay. Okay. To new movies now, but good, yeah. And it's a um, funny sentence too. Uh, so what genre is this movie? What do you think this genre is? Harry Potter. Or genres, plural. Because I think it would be more than one. And actually, I think we're missing the key genre for this. 
So, Wizard. often in Italian, they have science fiction with another genre together. Um, and we're missing that other genre. But maybe one of the students knows. Okay. What genre is this movie? What do you think? Um, you can use these genres, or if you can think of different genres, use that. You look comfy, Rob. Um, I'm, I'm quite comfortable, yeah. Uh, I like putting my legs on the chair. Yeah. Good. Are you comfortable? Meh, yeah. I'm not very comfortable, but I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> so Valeria says drama. So it could be drama, yeah, yeah. yeah I definitely. think there's an element of drama, yeah. And for your sentence, Valeria, we would say, I am scared. So we don't use scare as a verb in this way. We would say, you would use the adjective, I am scared of. Oh, you've done it. Great. Um, cool. And uh, well, also the perfect, yeah, fantasy. Yeah. Harry Potter is probably fantasy, Antonella, yeah. Uh, well, what about. Well, ah, ah. What are you doing? This one. <laughs> what is this uh, genre of this movie? This is a good film. It's based on a Scottish book. Look at this, it's based on a true story. <laughs> true story. Have you read the book? Um, no, but my um, my cousin, my no, my dad's cousin wrote the book. Oh, wow. Yeah. Get you. Yeah. We've got some good answers. Cartoon, yeah, probably Raffaele. Cartoon. What about this one? Ah. Oh. Titanic. Do you hate Titanic as well? I do. I was resisting making a vulgar vomiting motion. I love Titanic. Do you really? I enjoy it, definitely. <laughs> romance and drama? Perfect. Yeah. yeah, probably romance, drama. Yeah. <gasps> also, fantastic film. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. What do you think this is? is... Horror. It's or maybe she's talking about the Titanic. Titanic is a horror. I think maybe this is Valeria's guess for this one. Titanic 2 is a horror. Have you seen Titanic 2? No. It's too soon. Yeah. There, there was a, a moth outside my window trying to get in. Um, yeah, it's not a horror, actually. A film about nature. What would we probably call mm. a film about nature? It's about a uh, killer whale, orcas. I'm going to write nature because I think with my pronunciation, people often don't get what I'm saying. Yeah, I didn't know what you were saying. <laughs> it's a flim. <laughs> it's a flim about nature. It's a flim about nature. Mm. Uh, Great, a great film about nature. Um, oh. So it's it's a it's a documentary, uh, Blackfish. 
is a documentary about orcas. My favorite animal. Really? Yeah, I love orcas. Huh. My favorite animal is the giraffe. It's a weird one. What about this one? I think there are three. Oh, good, Rafaela, for Blackfish documentary. Okay. I assume he's not talking about Avatar when he says documentary. Yeah, Avatar is not a documentary. But yeah, very probably fantasy or if it's in space. Nice. I think there are three good genres for Avatar. Fantasy and and Hmm. Ah, well, science fiction, definitely. Yeah, science fiction. I don't think I would say cartoon. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, no, no, no. What do you say, Emily? Well, computer animated. A lot of it is computer animated. Okay. Um, so yeah, probably science fiction and fantasy. But no. I would say it's also action. There's quite a lot of action in it. Also romance. Oh yeah, there is romance. What about The Hangover? What do you think of that film, Rob? Um, I didn't think it was as funny as people made out. Yeah. I found Bridesmaids a lot funnier. I really like Bridesmaids, yeah. Mm. I haven't seen The Hangover, though. It's a wonderful um, comedy. Yeah, so it's a comedy. Yeah. Perfect, Valeria. Um, the Exorcist Part Three. <laughs> so weird one to choose, but okay. The Exorcist. What type of film is The Exorcist? Uh, yeah, special effects in um in the Avatar. Maybe there's lots of special effects. Yeah, definitely. Special effects is not a genre, really. Um, yeah, probably Exorcist is a horror, isn't it? Yeah. Terminator 3, another <laughs> weird choice. <laughs> I think so. says horror, I think, for The Exorcist. Yeah, Exorcist is horror. Terminator 3. <laughs> the worst of the Terminators. Yeah. Is that the one with the with like the molten liquid lady Terminator? Yeah, yeah. Uh, action. Action. Good. Yeah, action, action and maybe sci-fi. Well, it wasn't asking you. <laughs> <laughs> probably sci-fi. Well done, Rob. Yes. <laughs> probably sci-fi too. And Stefano says Avatar is very science fiction. Yeah. Very that's... science fiction. And Stefano, when you the verb like is transitive, which means we have to have an object in English. So we would say, I like it. Isn't it great. 
I like it too. Avatar. Yeah. Weird. Bit weird, yeah. That's okay though. <laughs> weird that you like it, but don't oh. like Emily. <laughs> How are those things related? Uh, they're sequels. Mm. Same movie. Um, okay, so quiz time. I love a quiz. This is not the most interesting quiz, though, unfortunately. Oh. Um, oh. <laughs> But Raffaella says, my favorite film is Gangs of New York. That's a great film. Yeah, great. A great film, Gangs of New York. I love a film with Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, and Brendan Gleeson. Oh. Yeah. As the monk. I think I need to watch that again, actually. Hmm. Um, Has it got Leonardo DiCaprio as well? Yeah, it's got Leonardo DiCaprio as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah, nice one. Gangs of New York is your favorite. What's other people's favorite? And what is what genre is Gangs of New York? That's actually an interesting question for Gangs of New York. It's almost uh, almost defies genre. Um, I have a favourite film. Do you have a favourite film, Emily? Well, I have a, I have not a real, not really, but I have an answer to your question. I have a response. Good. Are you going to respond? <laughs> um. No. Okay. Yes, yeah, in a second. It's a secret. Raphael says it's drama. For gangs okay. of New York. Yeah. Probably I think historical drama. Okay. Yeah. But also another maybe missing genre would be crime. Yeah. A lot of crime in gangs of New York. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's that's um oh that's Home Alone. That's the Italian translation of Home Alone. Oh, oh well, I'm missing. <laughs> okay, so, so Galeria, this film in English is called Home. Oops. With the boy, the boy in the house at Christmas, and uh, the two robbers. Robbers. Yeah. And we would say also in Italy, it is very famous still. So even after a long time, it is very famous still. Home Alone. Great film. What's your favourite then, Rob? You didn't answer my question. Okay. My favourite film. It's not really my favourite, but a film that I love is called Where the Wilder People Are. Okay. Interesting. Um, I'll write that title. It's a film from New Zealand. And it is okay. a comedy drama. And it's very, very lovely. And also sad and funny. And I will write this because I think more people should see it. <laughs> it's a good film. I do like that film. Um, Alice, Antonella's favorite film is uh, The Sixth Sense. Yeah. Bruce Willis is a ghost. 
Shush, shush. <laughs> everyone knows. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Is that the one with the girl with orange hair or the girl with blue hair? I don't. I don't know. Because one of them is the fifth element, and one of them is the sixth sense. Oh, okay. Orange hair is fifth element. Blue hair is sixth sense. Okay. Um. Last film Raffaele watches Blow. He likes crime, Raffaele. I haven't heard of Blow. Isn't Blow about uh, cocaine? Ah. Good has, uh... correction. Thank you. Good correction. The last film I watched was Blow. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's about drugs. Uh, Moulin Rouge. Love Moulin Great Rouge. Great film. Um, that prison uh, song is fantastic. Like the snap, crackle, pop one. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. That's another film I should see again. Yep. It's a good film. Yeah. And um, what about... What's the genre? This is a good question because this, the genre of the Moulin Rouge, well, we've had romance, oh, musical, she wrote it. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, too fast for you, Emily. Yeah. Um, I was... I watched the whole... The whole of what? No. <laughs> uh, okay, nice. The whole horror film. Do you like horror films, Rob? Uh, no, I don't like horror films. I like some horror films. I like the I... good ones. Okay. <laughs> I like The Exorcist. Okay. I, I don't know The Exorcist. There are some very good recent horror films. I liked um, Get Out. Yeah, um, I did like So we've got Greece. Love Greece. Love it. Greece is the word. But you heard. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Loads of good films here. It's got meaning. Uh, I always think uh, thriller is like a drama and action film. Yeah. But uh, yeah. That's how I always say. Uh, thriller is like a drama and action movie with suspense. Yeah. Because a drama, a drama is a very big category. So drama could be a film which talks about a family, the life of a family, calm. Um, no, thriller. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying drama. Drama is such a big category. But then a drama could also be a thriller. Thriller is an English word, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you can say thriller in English, no problem. Or, um, just like Michael Jackson said. Michael who? Michael Jackson. Never heard of him. Really? <laughs> um, now, of course, this is a TV series, Raphael. Keep your TV series at home. <laughs> <laughs> Films only, please. <laughs> uh, I'm joking, Raphael. Thank you. Narcos is interesting. Okay, before we finish, Emily. Yeah. Uh, we need to talk about food. Okay. Cinema food. Yeah. I 
enjoy cinema food. I want to know what is this, what for the students, is it a good idea to have food at the cinema? Okay, do you use that? Because I have a strong opinion on the subject. Uh, I always say the noisier the food, the better mm. for the cinema. Do you agree? I do not agree, even a little bit. I think silent food is fine. And so these, this D, whatever D is, if you have it in a, a Tupperware or in a box, that's fine. If you have it in a plastic packet where it goes, that is not fine. Well, <laughs> yeah. Likes popcorn. I do not like popcorn. I like uh, popcorn in general, but not at the cinema. I like popcorn. Caramel popcorn, salt popcorn. At the cinema. Chocolate popcorn, yeah. Chocolate popcorn. Chocolate popcorn. Um, okay, Raphael likes still water. I think uh, this is a still. Yeah, I think so. Um, French fries at the cinema. That's interesting. I... I agree with Raffaella because I think French fries would be a quite would be a silent food to eat at the cinema. Nachos? Not nachos. French fries I are soft. Ice cream. Soft food. Ice cream is, is acceptable. Um Emily. Mm. I think we need to go. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> um, and uh, goodbye. I'll see you. See you later. <laughs> Have a thank good evening. Guys. Thank you very much. Good, bye, have a good weekend as well. Have bye. a good weekend. Bye, Emily. <laughs>